Hello everybody, this is Gold Glee Gamer 1, and it's time for another Top 10 Glee list of mine. And this time we're going to count down my Top 10 songs from Season 6. Alright, here we go. Number 10, the final countdown from the episode, The Rise and Fall of Sue Sylvester. Number 9, Rise from the episode, The Rise and Fall of Sue Sylvester. Now, I should note, this is actually one of the original songs that was written by Glee's very own Darren Chris, and um, he did a great job in this one. And he has another one that's also on this list, too, but I'll talk about it when we get there. Number 8, Cool Kids, from the episode Child Star. Now, ever since I heard the original version done by Echo Smith, and I thought, okay, this Glee has got to cover this one, and they did. Because... This song, Management Song, is definitely an appropriate song for that kind of show. Well, I can say that. Number 7, All Out of Love, from the episode, The Hurt Locker, Part 2. Number 6, I Know Where I've Been, from the episode, Transitioning. Now, I can remember hearing this song from both, like, uh, the Broadway show Hairspray and the movie Hairspray, and, like, and, um... I'm, I'm glad we did this one, too, because it reminded me of the time I saw Hairspray. It was great. Number five, Let It Go, from the episode Loser Like Me. Now, keep in mind, um, if they actually covered Idina Menzel's version from the movie Frozen, um, which kind of makes sense in a way, because Elsa was played by Idina Menzel, and Idina Menzel plays Shelby Corcoran, which, which is uh, Rachel Berry's birth mom. So, so, and also, it would make sense that Rachel would be singing this as, as an homage to, homage to Idina Menzel. Yeah. Although, I will admit, this song would actually would have been higher on my list if they actually covered Demi Lovato's version, because I like that one the best. Just my opinion. Number four, Arthur's theme from the episode What the World Needs Now. Now, in my opinion, like, there's the there's this one line in the song that really gets me. This is called If You Get Caught Between the Moon and New York City. Yeah. I just can't stop thinking of that one in my mind. Number three, this time in the episode Dreams Come True. Now, this actually was the other song that Darren Chris wrote for Glee. And um and the context that used that was used during the season finale, which is also the series finale, uh, actually, actually was great. I gotta give props to that to Darren for writing such another great song. Number two, it must have been love from the episode The Hurt Locker Part Two. Now, until Glee covered this one, I completely forgot about this one and forgot how well this song was performed. So, yeah. And number one, I Live from the episode Dreams Come True. Now, I actually pictured before this final scene that, that Glee was going to do Don't Stop Believing again. <laughs> But no, um, actually what they did was, I think I talked about it in my top 10 songs from season 1, um, they actually redid um, the season 1 performance of Don't Stop Believing in the second to last episode. But but what I, what I liked best about I Lived is like, um, is, is Glee actually brought many, many of the cast members from all six seasons back to perform on the in the actual auditorium. So, yeah. It made such an epic way to, to end the show, and also where, where at the end they renamed the auditorium the Finn Hudson Auditorium, which was a nice tribute to Finn, aka Cory Monteith. Nothing more to be said. Okay, and that was my in top 10 songs from all six seasons. Now, next time, I'm going to be covering my top 10 songs overall from the entire series. So be on the lookout for that. And also in the comments below, if you have a top 10 list from season 6, please post it. And until next time, this is Gold League Gamer 1. Later, folks.